Well, Fox 51 is burning up because we all got the fever. It's all about the Buckeyes and the Bulldogs. Beast Texas witnessed a big night as the Chapel Hill Bulldogs went to Arlington going against Anna in the 4A Division 1 matchup. Fox 51 Sports Director Garrett Sanders was there for what turned out to be a tough day for the dogs. Coming into this season, the Chapel Hill Bulldogs had lost back to back state semifinal games, but not here in 2023. They punched their ticket to the 4A Division I state championship. However, when they got here, they had a hard time finding answers for the Anna Coyotes. The Bulldogs were never able to find their footing on offense and had to earn every yard against this Anna defense. They also had a hard time stopping the Coyotes on defense in the first half, giving up 24 offensive points and falling 26 to nothing. It was a tough outing, but Chapel Hill head coach Jeff Reardon knows his program is heading in the right direction. The senior class got us here, but this is ultimately not the goal. Uh, it hasn't been the goal. The goal is to ultimately get gold instead of silver and, and to get to uh, win a state championship, but uh, it takes what it takes, uh, and we got to go back to work. Uh, we know what it tastes like. We know how to get here. Now we got to figure out how to, how, how to win the big one. We'll, we'll take a break from it, but we'll go back to work when, when the new year comes around in the off season and, and, and evaluate where we're at and, and what we need to fix uh, and go in the off season and get those things right and hopefully get to come back here next year. The Chapel Hill Bulldogs aren't the only East Texas team playing for a state title. The Gilmer Buckeyes are looking to knock off the heavily favored Bellevue Bramus, and they pulled off upsets. It's something the Gilmer Buckeyes do. The Buckeyes were able to answer Bellevue blow for blow in the first half. Then in the final seconds of the fourth quarter, they leaned on their tough as nails running back, Will Henderson, who is once again Gilmer's closer. He was going to get tired, and we just had to go, hey, Will, uh, we'll just have to get over that tomorrow. you got to go get this, and he did. You know, uh, He went and got the first downs that we had to have to finish out that game, and that's the, that's the heart of a champion right there. I love it. So East Texas was able to go 3 of 4 in Arlington with Timpson and Mal winning earlier this week. And that's going to wrap up our 2023 Texas high school football coverage. Hoping next year in 2024 we have even more teams represented here at State. From at and Stadium in Arlington, I'm Garrett Sanders. That's David Gibson, and this is Fox 51 Sports. Well, congrats to all of our East Texas teams.